Perfect Rock Ape here, and today we are playing Death Pit 3000. I'm joined by my special guest, Ath. Hey guys. We played Sunburnt recently, which you may have caught. But this is another game from Welsh developers, these guys, Cyberlamb Studios from North Wales. And I'm going to be visiting them at the end of the month, because they'll be at Level Up Wales in Wrexham Uni. Which is the 31st of May to the 1st of June. So, and it's free, so check that out. But in the meanwhile, they asked us to play this game ages ago. And now here we are. So, the game originally was multiplayer only by LAN. Which I think is a crazy idea. But then they introduced an online patch. And now you can play online. You can also join their Discord. And... You can play it with controllers, but I'm not sure which controllers you can actually play it with. I know you can play it with the 360 controller, the Xbox 360, but I'm not sure on any of the other controllers. So, we're going to play it online. If you play it on LAN, you can play with up to four people, but online is only up to two people. Yeah, that's a shame. I think it'd be more fun with lots more people. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's designed for four people. So I'm going to host a game. Well, I'm doing an interview with these guys next week, and I'm going to ask them about why they chose two players and whether we can hope for an update to that in the future. So, oh, you've already got yourself a build. Uh, it's, yeah, I've played this like 10 minutes before, and this is what I played last time. But I might change it up and do something different. I don't know. I don't know if be different colors matter. I don't think they do. Then you've got abilities. You're going for the lightning one. It's a shame that it's only two people, because we could have, if we had four, we could go with all the abilities. Yeah, and I feel like that's what it's sort of designed for, is to have all four, but, you know. Yeah. So, I might go shield, if you're going with the other thing. Um, it's a kind of like, have you ever played Smash TV? No. It's a classic. Um... It's kind of probably what started off roguelike games. Because you go in a room, you clear the room, you pick another room at random. Either like left, right, up or down. And then you clear that room and eventually you get to a boss. And you pick up money and different weapons. But they might only have, a, they might be limited use. Um, this is just one arena, I believe. But you're killing stuff, you're picking up money to upgrade weapons. And yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I loved playing that game, multiplayer, and it was available on um, Xbox 360 in the arcade, which was sweet. Nice. I turned my volume down a bit because I imagine there's a lot of shooty going on. And also, this is the kind of game you want to play with keyboard and mouse because the aiming is much easier. I get those guys. And um, right click to do melee. I've got a whip. Yeah, me too. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Smack my butt. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Is that good? Yeah. I've been a naughty girl. Okay. So we got power. Um, I can't remember the buttons. I? No. To do and Q? Q does your Ooh. power. And then I guess it recharges. Oh, pick up the space bucks. You can hold shift and you'll sprint. Um, you have to step inside the blue thing. And then you press a... I don't remember which button you press. But you get into... E seems to buy stuff. Ah, yeah. E for the shop. And then you choose when you're ready. I'm actually ready now. The sooner you press ready, the more space bucks you get. Oh, watch out for these ones. They have guns. Oh, no, there's, there's oh. flying disc things. Oh, the uh, environment is destructible. I got some money from destroying a bomb. That's cool. You got, like, a thingy chasing you. Oh. Use your whip. That's it. So is it just one map at the moment? Do you from think? what I've seen, it's one map. But, I've only played a little bit of it so far. Okay. 
I'm gonna pick ready because I'm just happy to pick up all the bucks. Oh, this is these are wet guys. You need a wet one. Oh, oh. I think you just healed me. Did I? Uh... Yeah, you like nudged me. Ooh, three bullets. I think there's a power what? up here. Do you have to? Hmm. Don't know how to pick it up. Maybe it's an ammo type. Is it grenades? Are there grenades? Gee, no. Okay, I don't know. I'll go by the rail gun. Sweet. Yeah, I have no idea what that oh, that's is. That's a lot of money. Oh, railgun goes through two of them. That's nice. Wow. Maybe when there are more around. Yeah. We we're only on the first think... qualifier. Yeah. Spooky ghost things. I think that's... Oh, it's Careful. on my face. Careful oh. of the bouncy things. Oh, is that like a face hugger? Yeah. You have to like melee it when it gets on your face. Ah. Oh, I hate having to do that. Yeah. Their eyes glow green. In the dark. Oh, it's bucks. Um, I'm happy continuing because... Does it give you the option to press ready or does it just wait until the first person presses it? It gives me the option as well. I've just been hitting it straight away. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my bullets are limited. It's like you're kiting them. Oh. Oh. I think this is the final wave. Oh, F to throw grenades. That's a weird key. But... And also middle okay. mouse click. We did it! Oh, I screamed. Nice. Dude, that was pretty exciting. Oh, you did so much more. You I just kept running day. over the... <laughs> I was running over all the money. I was really greedy. What's a detailed kill report? Ooh, you killed more Fat Freddies than me. Oh yeah! Oh no! It don't put us back in the same game together, or did it? Yeah, it did. It just okay. Did, yeah, loading screen for a bit. Okay, cool. Um, I like how it's different characters. I wonder if they based them on real people. They kind of look like they would have. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask that question in my interview as well. Okay. So we're gonna go on the next one. We're gonna go on quarterfinals. There's six waves. Okay. It says it says unlock tree, but I don't really. I'm, oh, I know where it says unlock tree. It tells you um, the four different types of qualifiers and everything from there. So we get um, by completing this, the by completing the qualifier, you get antimatter grenades. When you complete the quarterfinals, we get carbon mesh walls. And when we complete the finals of the Primus, it's special weapon upgrades. And I think there's four different types of map. I see. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So we'll go with the second one. See how much harder it gets. That last wave got a bit manic. I got another shotgun because they're always good for these kind of things. Oh, what gun have you got there? This is the first one. Whatever that was. Pulse rifle, maybe. Uh, these things are. Shotgun's actually terrible in this. Yeah, I have a pulse rifle. Which seems quite low damage, but high speed. Shotgun has probably high damage if you get close enough. Mm, and it can hit more than one. But. My issue was, um, it takes too long to fire. I don't think there's much point in hoarding money. So if you can get an upgrade, you need to get it. Ammo seems to reset with every round as well, so you don't have to be too conservative at this That's point. That's good. Oh, oh, you're dead. 
I don't know how that happened. So I guess there's no resurrection. It says revive me. Maybe I have to pay to bring you back. Oh, I can. I pay to bring you back. You have cloned me, apparently. Oh. I think your core, your score reset is the only thing. Ah. Uh. I res, I am um, upgraded my health. But you've got ten thousand bucks, so you could, essentially. I have spent it. Okay, there's a big, there's a big old fat thing over there. Uh, shoots grenades, I guess. Yeah, some kind of grenade. We did it! We <laughs> quarterfinals. Good job, everybody. Upgrading your health is a huge boost. It doubles your health, basically. Oh, wow. Yes. So we're going to the semi-finals now. Nice. It's fairly quick, this game, so far. Yeah, I think this would be good for, like, short drop-in play. It's quite good if you're, like, at a party or something. You don't want a long game. You want, like, 15 minutes of fun. But again, they would need to make a... I'd say, stick this as a four-player local co-op game, and it would be awesome. Yeah. Watch out. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, this is... No! I really don't like these spinning disc things. No, they... If you've got a gun that needs to reload, the spinning disc things are a killer. They've been the thing that's like done the most damage to us. Oh yeah, you press you can jump by pressing spacebar. Does that what does that do? Can you like jump over bullets and stuff? I'm not sure. But I'm doubling my health. Oh even more health with the next level. Oh you can zoom. Uh try zooming in like to full this would that would be like hard mode. Oh yeah! Max. I don't know, you could zoom in and out. Oh my god, zooming into Max. Oh, there's, there's pink blobs now. There's more where this oh, you get hurt by the purple stuff on the floor. Yeah. Which is why you're supposed to jump over it. We both had the same idea. Yeah. Oh, I don't like the look of that. I was like a cannon with a laser. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh. Oh, it got me again. <laughs> oh, we both died. <laughs> Those things. It was death by a thousand cuts. Oh my god. That got hard, like, really quickly. It wasn't even the bosses that were the hard part. No. I see what one of the other maps look like. I want to see what Inferno looks like. In the cube! I, I feel like this is going to make it harder. Do we have to jump <laughs> over this fire? Did they Can get hit by fire? They do not. Oh, it's gone. That's good. Oh no! Oh no, friend, why are you dead? It spawned just as I got there. It's all on you. Um, I'll zoom all the way out so I can watch you. Running around. I, I have like one hit health left. <laughs> Wait, if I get to the center. Okay. You're safe. I think that's enough for now. We've checked it out. Yep. We didn't get to the finals, but I think we did enough to know how the game works. Definitely. And I love this type of game, so I quite enjoyed it. Oh, it looks like there's a fifth character. 
like a Scotsman who's who's not um, unlocked. Maybe you have to complete the game and you get the Scotsman. Yeah, if you look at the unlock tree, you get him for the finals of Deep Freeze. Oh yeah, and that that must be the hardest final. Because it goes sideways, but also goes up in the difficulty. Well, I've enjoyed this game. I think there's, they've got something they could work on. they got goals they can set themselves, like local, multiplayer, four-player, online. Maybe extra, ma may uh, maybe extra maps. Yeah, that would be cool. Extra maps would be really fun and more people. I mean, the game is only uh, $2.99, so it's quite a cheap game, which is... Like quite accessible for people. I think this would play on pretty much any laptop. So that's a good point. Yeah. They might even be able to port it to mobile. Maybe. But, because it's not that intense on, like, graphics. Uh, they also just added recently um, Linux support, which is something that a lot of people are, are looking for in games. So a lot of cool. Linux users are there. But you'd be surprised how many there are, and they need games that you know they can actually play. So that's true. And this is a yes. great little party game. It's definitely a good party game. It's their first game, so it could be quite interesting to see what they're working on next. Yes, which you will see in your interview. I will. I will ask that. Sweet. Well, thank you for joining me today, Ah. Huh? Thank you for having me. It was fun. Uh, thank you to the developers, Cyberlam Studios, for sending me the game. And we'll see you at the end of May at Level Up. So, yeah. Thank you for watching at home. Have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend ahead. Because it's bank holiday weekend for everyone but me. Because I'm working. I feel so sad. If only on the inside. So, thank you for watching. Bye! Bye!